Bonjour Capricorn and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Crude here. Today I'm going to be doing your mid-month star reading for the month of September. So I hope you're doing well and that you've had a good month so far. I want to start by apologizing for not having been uh, posting regularly over the last two weeks. I have left the United States and moved back to the UK. So, sorry about that. So as you can imagine, this was kind of, kind of a big move and took a lot of time, but I should be back to my normal schedule posting, so thank you for still being here and for your patience with me. Now, as always, please remember those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody, so take what resonates and just drop the rest. So what do we have for my Capricorn querence, please? What do we need to hear for the middle to the end of the month? So we begin with a major arcana, the devil, incidentally it is your card, crossed by the hierophant, All right. below you we have the nine of wands, above you we have the ten of cups, behind you we have the empress, another major arcana, ahead of you we have the seven of cups. Your advice is the Knight of Pentacles. In your environment, you've got the Two of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles is in your hopes and fears. And we end the reading with another beautiful Ace, the Ace of Wands. Wow, this is going to be a, a big reading for you, I believe. Okay, so... We start off with two major arcanas. Now, major arcanas represent bigger energies on your life path, okay? Something that's more longer term. And also, to me as a tower reader, the direct intervention of your spirit team. Whether they're nudging you in the right direction or providing you with experiences that enable you to grow. And you've got the devil crossed by the hierophant. Now, the devil is a limiting energy and obviously it represents temptation. Now, it can be an inner devil or it can be an outside devil. So if it is an in devil, it can be substance abuse, and by that obviously, you know, alcohol, drugs, but also, you know, overeating. Anything that you do that gives you imme immediate um, happiness and then instant gratification is what I was looking for, and then you feel um, bad afterwards. So like, you know, shopping therapy, overeating the whole tub of ice cream instead of just a little bit, that kind of thing. It can also be um, a negative self-talk. Um, but if it's outside, then it can be someone who doesn't have your best interest at heart, may represent that, may represent a, a toxic relationship, you know, codependency, um, someone who's overbearing, um, treats you badly, but then makes up for it, so keeps you hook because, hooked, because, you know, after all they said to you, you know, but I love you, um, and, you know, deep down we want to believe this, so we excuse, we forgive the, the behavior. It could be that. It could also be just a negative, um, repeated cycle, you know, like always. And that's what I've just um, described. And this is crossed by the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant, and obviously there are layers to the cards, but, and take what resonates when I talk to you about the cards, because you're here for different reasons. But the Hierophant here, to me, the message I'm getting is enlightenment, because the Hierophant is knowledge, knowledge that comes from above. So I believe that you are going through a um, very opening period, eye-opening period, uh, that you are aware of this devil, whatever this devil is, and that you are ready to take action, to do something about this. Sometimes the Hierophant, because it represents traditions and things like that, may represent, for instance, a marriage or a long-term relationship. If you're here for work, it may represent a big institution, you know, like the company um, you work for. So obviously take what resonates, but you are being aware of this devil. And um, to me, this is just the call for, and you know what, I need to do something about this. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I see in your focus the Ten of Cups. And I don't blame you. 
you know, Ten of Cups is the ultimate happiness card. This is, you know, um, a feeling completely emotionally fulfilled, grateful for the life you've got. Um, this is often referred to as the happy ever after card. And, you know, we should all be striving for this. This is what we should uh, want to get. And I can see, I'm getting the vibes very um, strongly from this reading that, yeah, you, if you've not had this moment of um, enlightenment, it's going to come and it will come from your spirit team, whether you believe in God, the universe, your angels, your ancestors, whatever the case may be. But this is what you want, you know, this is the water energy, feelings, emotions, cups. So the Ten of Cups really is that emotional fulfillment, feeling that you've got it all. So that's what you're shooting for. Um, and in the past, recent past, you've had the Empress. Now the Empress is a beautiful card because three is the number of growth expansion and the Empress represents lacking for nothing. She's fertility incarnate, so it could be, it could have been in the past, the birth of a project, of a relationship, of a child, uh, a business that you decided to grow, but she represents growth, fertility, things expanding. It's a very beautiful energy. Um, but I get the feeling that um, this time has passed and it's turned toxic. For some of you, and please do just take what resonates, this is the person who's toxic, this Empress, because the Empress is a card of attraction as well. This is somebody who's very, very attractive, and obviously there's no gender attached to the card. This is a general reading, so take what resonates here. But picture, if we're dealing with somebody, this is somebody who has the characteristics of this card. Someone who's, you know, um, important, who has power, who's very attractive and can, you know, sometimes manipulate. Not all the time, but for some of you, there's someone like that. It's dealing with someone like that. So, as I said, take what resonates. And in your subconscious mind, you've got the Nine of Wands. And the subconscious is often um, your higher self trying to talk to you. Now, Nine is a ta in the tarot is a number of achievement. Wands is fire energy, it represents passion, desire. Um, your spirit and the nine of wands talks about having your spirits seriously battered you know it talks about burn burnouts at work it talks about having given everything you've got to something a, a person a relationship a project a job and having acquired some serious cuts and bruises feeling absolutely exhausting exhausted and wanting to drop the ones but the message with the nine of wands is yes it is very tiring, it is very difficult, but you're gonna see this through. Um, and we can see this because you've got that 10 of cups here, that's your your goal, you know? This is an acknowledgement of how hard it's been because you have invested a lot of you, whether it's a bit of your heart, sweat, tears, effort, time, all of the above. There's been a lot of effort put through, you know, into this situation. And in the near future, you have got options coming your way, which is beautiful to see, because from this limiting energy of the devil, which is trapping energy, stopping you from moving, um, you free yourself from this with the Seven of Cups. Seven is self-evaluation, self-analysis, and once you've gone through that process, it means that you can move forward. And the Cups, as I've explained, being your feelings and your emotions, they represent all of the choices that you have, and looking at them from an emotional point of view. Now, there may be a little aspect of feeling overwhelmed because, you know, when we have lots of options in front of us, it can be a bit daunting, particularly when we've been dealing with a devil. <laughs> but it's a very positive thing. It's um, something that you need to look at and take the time to look at all of the options um, and see which one is going to fulfill you emotionally the best which I think that, you know, you really have got this because you're focused on that Ten of Cups, so I can see where you're going with it. And in your advice, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. Now, this is very much Earth energy, so your element. And the Knight represents things moving forwards or action taking. The Knight of Pentacles, because it's to do with the physical realm, representing home life, work life, education, financial assets. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who's got a goal in mind and who is going to plan all of the steps in order to get there. And they're not going to deviate, they're just going to go for it. But this is a slower energy. Um, it is the slowest of the nights, but it's the very reliable night. It's the one that if you want something done, you're going to 
give that task to this person and I see this as an advice of, for you to do this to have your goal in mind and start planning you know take action move towards it once you have decided which options you want which one's going to make you the happiest for some of you it may be someone coming with an offer you know an offer of a, a different job a different um maybe some some money if you're here for, for those reasons but for most of you the message i feel is to do with you uh, taking action and planning your life and in your environment you have uh, the two of cups now the twos represents um, decisions crossroads but also partnerships because this is cup energy water energy you have a lot of it today so it may represent a significant partnership. So you may have someone in your environment who's here for you. It could be this Nine of Pentacles coming with an offer, by the way. It doesn't have to be. Um, but this is somebody who can really help you. Um, I'm getting a lot of positive vibes and energy from the card here because it's in your environment. So this is something that's going to be very supportive of your efforts, whatever it is you're trying to achieve. And in your hopes and fears, you're hoping for a brand new beginning. And being the Capricorn that you are, you want a very tangible, grounded new beginning. Because the Aces represent the origin of the suit, but they also uh, encompass the potential of it. And because this is your energy, this is a practical, pragmatic new beginning. So you're hoping for an offer, or you're hoping for someone accepting your offer, if that's what you're doing, you know, like you, you put an offer on a home, for instance, or you apply for a job and they give you the job. Um, as I said, take what resonates, but you really are hoping for something that's going to be very practical, very grounded in the 3D world. And guess what? You're going to get more than you bargained for because you get the Ace of Wands. So this is beautiful because, you know, you've got your Ten of Cups in mind. You want the long-lasting, happy ever after happiness. And you want that brand new beginning, very practical, tangible beginning. And you're going to be given this Ace of Wands, which is beautiful. So same thing, it holds the potential of the suit. And this is the fire, the passion, the desire you know, what really excites you and drives you forward. So the Ace of Wands could be the beginning uh, of a new project, of a new business, a brand new career offer. It could be a creative sparks if you're an artist and, it, you know, you, you were struggling with finding inspiration. It could also be a very steamy, hot, passionate relationship coming your way. I'm not going to lie, it could be that. But this is going to put a smile on your face and this is going to really ignite you. Um, this is very promising. I mean, you know, two aces next to each other um, for the future. This, this is really nice. Um, so as I said, the advice is, you know, either there is an offer coming your way and you may want to consider it. It's going to be a solid offer because it's coming from the Knight of Pentacles. Or have a clear objective once you've made your decision and, you know, start planning and set out towards this because this is going to grant you that beautiful ace of wands. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you did, or if you found this message helpful in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I always appreciate it. I wish you a wonderful next two weeks, and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.